Hello, my amazing artists. I am so excited that you are back for another year full of incredible artwork. My name is Mrs. Hooper, and I'm going to be your art teacher this year. When you first arrive to art class, you're going to wait at the door for me to invite you into the room. When you come into the room, I'm going to ask you to either come have a seat on the floor in front of the smart board, or I'll send you straight to your tables for directions. Please sit quietly without talking so that I can tell you what we're doing today. We have three main goals in art this year, and our goals spell the word art. For A, our first goal is to aim to do your best and to do right. For the R in art, our goal is respect. You're going to respect yourself, respect your friends, respect Mrs. Hooper, and respect the art room. For the T in art, our goal is trust. You need to trust in yourself and your ability to learn. After I have given you directions and let you go to your seats to start working on your project, it's important to be aware of your voice level. There are five main voice levels. In the art room, we never want to hear number five. That would be you guys out on the playground. That's not what we want, what we want inside. Table talk is a little bit quieter. This is the level I want you guys to be on most of the time during art class. For table talk, only the kids at your own table should be able to hear you. If somebody can hear you from across the room, that's a sign that you're too loud. And zero is the level that will always be on whenever Mrs. Hooper is talking to the class. Every art class, we get to play a special game called the Art Party Game. In order to move along the Art Party Game, you must earn paintbrushes. So you get to earn one paintbrush for listening and being respectful. That means not talking while the teacher's talking and being respectful to your classmates and the art supplies. You get to move another space for doing a really good job cleaning up the art room. This is your very own art studio and you guys will be responsible for keeping it clean, neat, and tidy. You get to earn the third paintbrush and move another space for working quietly. Remember, you want to be at a table talk when you're working independently on your projects or at a level zero, no talking when Mrs. Hooper is talking. This is our art party game board. Every class in the school has their very own game piece. When you earn those paintbrushes for listening, being respectful, cleaning up and working quietly, you get to move a space on the playing board for every paintbrush you earn. So if you keep all three paintbrushes, you get to move three spaces. If you lose one of the paintbrushes during class, you only get to move two or one or zero spaces, depending on how many paintbrushes you earn. When you reach the end of the game board, you get to have an art party. I love to reward students who are doing extra above and beyond following my directions and helping out in the art room. To reward these students, I will sometimes give them something called art dollars. It's kind of like money that you can spend only in the art room during the art party. You, if you earn an art dollar, you might earn it by doing something like listening when others are not listening or doing something extra to clean up. Or... While I love it when you make good choices during art class, sometimes you make bad choices. If you make a bad choice, I might send you over to the warning board. First time I send you to the warning board, you will grab a dry erase marker and you will write your name on the dry erase pocket under the green warning. That's just to remind you to follow the directions, follow the art room rules, and head back to your seat and you can keep working. If you continue making not so good choices, I may ask you to write your name on the yellow board and then you're going to have about five minutes of cool down time. 
after I come talk to you, when your cool down time's over, you may go back and continue working. If we're still not making good choices during art class that day, I'm gonna ask you to write your name on the red board. Then I will either send a note home to your parents or send you to have a talk with the principal. Each table in my classroom has its very own color. You might be at the purple table or the yellow table, red, orange, blue, green. At that table, the sign in the center will show you the color and it will show you what number you're sitting next to. So if you're sitting in this seat right here, your closest number would be number one. This seat right here, your closest number would be number two. Those numbers will tell you what your cleanup job is that day. I have the art jobs posted on the wall of my classroom. It shows you the job for each number. Number one is supply master. You have a very important job of getting and putting away all the art supplies that we will need for our project that day. After I send you to your tables, if you are number one at your table, so you're sitting in the seat closest to number one, you are supply master. It will be your job to come over to this bookshelf and find the shelf that matches the table color of the table that you sit at. So if you have a look at the shelves, you'll see that it is lined with paper that matches your table color. So if you're at the orange table, you'd come to the shelf with the orange paper on it. If you are at the red table, you'd come to the shelf with the red paper on it. On this shelf, you should find most of the supplies that you will need for today's project. Above those shelves, I also have boxes labeled by grade, kindergarten, second grade, first grade, and so on. Inside those boxes, you will sometimes find important papers and handouts that your grade will need for the project that you guys are working on. Number two is table folders and drying rack. Our table folders are stored in these long drawers. You open, you find the grade that your class is in, you open that drawer and find your class's folder. Inside the folder is each table folder. It will be a folder shared by everybody at your table that matches the color of the table that you're in. You're going to get that folder, bring it to your seat, or at the end of class, you're going to bring your folder to your class's folder to put it away. Number three is noise monitor. It's your job to remind everybody at your table to make sure that they are on the correct volume level in the class. Number four, your job is table tidier. If we paint, it'll be your job to wash the tables. If we do not paint, you don't need to wash the tables, but you do need to pick up any trash that's left behind on top of or underneath your tables. When you finish your art project, the first thing you need to do is show it to me and check to make sure that you have met all of your learning goals on the art project. If I say, yes, you have, and it's finished, you need to put your project away either on the drying rack if it's wet or in your table folder if it's dry. Then after you clean up your table, you may come over to this part of the classroom. This is the Free Choice Art Center has things like drawing paper, blocks, clay, art games, dry erase boards. We will go over the rules for this another time. Sometimes when you guys are in the middle of working on a project, I need to get your attention to tell you the next step or another important announcement. If I'm going to do that, there's a few ways that I'll get your attention. First way is I might say, class, class, if you hear me say, class, class, you guys will respond, yes, yes. I might change up how I say it. So if I said it in a different way, like classity class, you'd respond, yes, it yes. Or if I said class, you would respond, yes. So you'd just kind of copy the way that I say class is how you would respond, yes. Another way that I might get your attention is I will say, hands on top. And then you guys respond, everybody stop. And you put both your hands on your head. Let's practice that. Hands on top. Everybody stop. Now, did I shout everybody stop? No, there's no need to shout. Don't forget your volume levels. 
And finally, sometimes I like to include a little bit of music to get your attention. So I have a chime right here, and if you hear me ring the chime, or, or any combination of that, you wanna freeze whatever you're doing. Look for Mrs. Hooper, put your eyeballs on her. I cannot wait to see the artwork that you guys are going to create this year in art class. Don't forget that you guys are all amazing artists. All right, listen up for my next direction.